Good morning, church, and thanks for joining us for our Wednesday morning devotion again today. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about giving. Now this is quite a big and sometimes controversial topic, but I want to share some thoughts that God has put on my heart today. And there are many examples in Scripture, but today I want to look at the Israelites in Exodus 36, verses 2 to 6. Exodus 36, verse 2. And Moses called Bezalel and Oholiab, and every craftsman in whose mind the Lord had put skill, everyone whose heart stirred him up to come and do the work. And they received from Moses all the contribution that the people of Israel had brought for doing the work on the sanctuary. They still kept bringing him free will offerings every morning, so that all the craftsmen who were doing every sort of task on the sanctuary came each from the tasks that he was doing, and said to Moses, the people bring much more than enough for doing the work that the Lord has commanded us to do. So Moses gave the command, and word was proclaimed throughout the camp, Let no man or woman do anything more for the contribution of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing. In this passage we see the Israelites enthusiastic and committed to the construction of the tabernacle. We have to remember that they were in the middle of the desert, and I'm assuming not many of them had a steady income or that sort of thing. So how did they do it? Well, let's see at some of the principles they would have followed. Firstly, and most importantly in giving, is that the people were joyful. They wanted to do it. Moses called everyone whose heart was stirred up to come and do work. And people brought free will offerings, not mandatory offerings, free will offerings out of their own heart. They gave it because they wanted to. And we should be giving because we want to. We give as an outpouring of God's mercy and provision in our lives. Our gifts are our skills, but also materials, money, food, water, all that sort of thing. Whatever other resources there may be. We do not give because we want more. We, be, we give because we want God to have more. Everything belongs to Him, so there's not more that He could want in terms of money and food and whatever. But more of us, more of our hearts, our service and our love. And we do that by giving. Secondly, we must give consistently. The Bible says the Israelites were bringing free will offerings every morning. Now that isn't the biblical standard for us, for our giving, but rather consistency is. When you commit to giving, give. Do not stop until that project is completed or the hungry are fed. 10% is not the biblical standard either. The ancient Israelites actually gave somewhere between 20 and 30% mandatorily and above and beyond that, much more because of their free will offering. But the point is consistency. Keep going. Whatever you decide to give, keep at it. Lastly, you're not too poor or too sick or too injured or too stuck in whatever you are to give. The Israelites were stuck in the desert, yet they made a plan. God's people will make a plan to give regardless. In our desert of lockdown and COVID-19, are we still making plans to give? Like the widow in the temple, she gave what she had. Even though it was all that she had, it doesn't mean we have to give all that we have, give everything we have away. But we still need to make a plan, regardless of our situation. We give what we can give, each according to his needs. In the New Testament, a lot of the time, Paul talks about giving as giving according to his own needs. So what you can give, give, regardless of the situation. What matters is our heart, our reasoning behind giving, and the joy when we give. Now there is so much more to talk about, but these three things are so relevant to us today. We are facing uncertainties, and money is tight. Businesses are struggling, but let's remember that everything belongs to the Lord. There is no excuse not to give. God's people will make a plan, they will be consistent in giving, and they will be joyful when they give. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we could read your word this morning, that you put this on our hearts to, to correct us where we haven't been giving. Thank you that you've given us biblical standard for giving, and that's consistency, joy, and giving what we have always when we can give. I pray that you'll help us to, to give more, that even when we are struggling, even when we are attached to what we have on the earth, where we want to be reasonable, where we want to be sensible and and not compromise ourselves. I pray that you help us to remember that you are sovereign, that you are in control of everything, that everything belongs to you. 
So please forgive us where we haven't been giving, Father. And please help us to give where we should give. Give consistently and give joyfully to you. In Jesus' name. Amen.